Hi friends, I just want to wish you all a wonderful Good Friday and a Happy Easter. In today's video, I have some fun things for you. I have added something in the living room that has been just what the space has been needing. And I also gave our dining room a little makeover just in time for Easter. And I'll be doing an Easter tablescape in there also. And then I don't know what else I'm going to find fun for you today, but I'm going to share it all. And I am just so happy that you are here to join me. This week, I was gifted a rug from Home Spice Decor. I just can't get over how much this rug has added to this room. The colors just go so well with my furniture and even Sylvie gave it the sniff test and says she likes it too. The quality of this rug really impressed me, and I'm so glad to know that it's easy care, and I am just looking forward to having this rug in our home for years to come. Now, before we go into the dining room, I want to show you what I did with flowers this week. I bought some flowers and another urn this week at Lowe's this time. And I just thought these beautiful silver leaves and these pink little flowers would look so good in this urn. So that's what I'm gonna do is plant them in here. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this urn yet, but it will probably go on one of the porches.
I just can't wait for this one to take off and start growing and filling in. I think it's just gonna be so pretty. I am finally hanging some curtains. I think these are gonna just look so good in here. I love the color of them and they're still pretty sheer so they're not gonna block out a lot of light and you can still have a pretty good view outside. I think it will just cozy up this room just enough. I'm also going to give these curtains a primitive colonial look to fit in with my style by tacking them up with straight pins. Whoops, I caught Chris in my camera. Let's take a look at what he's doing. He's actually leveling the yard up towards where we have the grass where the sod stops. We are gonna be putting a fence in that goes from the corner of our dining room up to about where that uh, wheelbarrow is setting at. Maybe not that far and it's gonna go straight across and then we'll have a gate opening right in front of where our doorway is and then it will go on across and then we will connect it hopefully to the corner of our barn garage that we haven't got built yet but we're planning to <laughs> now back to the dining room let's put together an easter tablescape I'm starting off by adding a big table square to the top of the table. It's also in a light beige color that goes so well with the curtains. It's got some wrinkles in it, but wrinkles don't really bother me, so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna add a pretty little wooden riser. Next, I'm gonna put one of my pewter candlesticks on top of the riser and then stagger them just a little bit by putting the other one down on the table. To complete my vignette, I'm gonna use one of my ironstone gravy boats and it has water in it because I'm also going to make a little flower bouquet.
I am not a very formal person, but this flatware makes me want to keep my table set all the time. It looks like it is from the 1700s. So now that I have my table all set for Easter dinner, I've got to get busy getting my food prepared. But first, I'm sure my husband needs a little help outside, so I will go out and help him, and I will see you all in the next video.